have made us priests before our God, Father. Thank you for the royal priesthood that you have appointed, Father. We give you the glory. We give you the praise, Lord. We thank you, Father. We stand in your presence today, Lord, by the precious and the holy blood of Jesus, Lord. We come with boldness before your most holy throne, Lord. We thank you, Father. We praise you. Let me read from Luke 4, verses 18 to 19 from the Message Bible. Shall we all read it together? The God Spirit is on me. He's chosen me to preach the message of good news to the poor, sent me to announce pardon to prisoners and recovery of sight to the blind, to set the burden and the battered free, to announce this is God's time to shine. Yes, Lord, we know, Father God, in this dark age, we know that it is your time to shine, Lord. It is, it is your time to proclaim the gospel of the good news, Lord. Father God, we pray, help us to be, Lord, midnight friends, Lord. Father God, with you, Lord, who will capture your heart, Lord, who will hear your heartbeat, Lord, who will move with your Holy Spirit, Lord, for such a time as this, Lord. We need in our nation, Lord, friends with God, midnight friends with God, Father. We pray, Lord, help us to know your face, Lord, and help us to have a face-to-face -face encounter with you, Lord. As I was reading, from Habakkuk 2.1. I will stand by my watch and set myself at the ram and watch and see what he will say to me and what I will answer. When I am corrected, I will know what to answer. So, Father God, we pray that as we stand in the watch, that you will speak to us, Lord, your word. You will correct us in the areas that we need to be corrected, Lord. That we will get rid of our negativity. We will get rid of our judgmental thoughts. We will get rid of pointing the finger. We will get rid of offense, Lord. And today we pray, Father God, as we come to your watchtower, that we will hear, Lord. And as we have declared a time of fasting and praying, Lord, as each one of your children come to your watchtower, Lord, that they will hear the word of the Lord. They will hear, Lord, areas of correction that you are speaking, Lord. Lord, I know that you spoke to me today, Lord, to get rid of my negativity, to get rid of my fear, to get rid of a pointing the finger, to get rid of every judgmental spirit, Lord. So I pray for my brothers and sisters also, Lord, that we as a church, Lord, we will have a heart of humility, Lord. We will have a heart to hear what the Lord is speaking to us, Lord. And we would be able to stand at the post of your watch, Lord. And we will see what you speak, Lord. And we will speak that, Lord, into our situations, into our nation, into our personal lives, Lord. We thank you, Father. And 1 Samuel 12, 23 says, Samuel says, Moreover, as for me, Far be it from me that I shall sin against the Lord in ceasing to pray for Israel, for you. 
but i will teach you good and right way yes lord we as a church every one of us lord will pray for our nation lord that we will not cease to pray o oh god we will have that urgency coming lord even if we have not given our name for the prayer time lord today father that the spirit of god will call upon us lord to commit that time to the lord because lord mountains are moved in prayer lord we know lord that the threshing sledge of the lord moves lord and removes mountains of obstacles lord we thank you father for prayer lord we thank you that we can be friends with god father we pray that urgency will come into each one of our hearts lord and as friends we can pray with god that the spirit of god heals the broken relationships we know that in the political realm in different realms we encounter such a lot of broken relationships hurts pains offenses accusations but we as the people of god as the lord jesus spirit is upon us the spirit of elijah is upon us that we can be we can reach this gap lord so father we pray together lord in one accord that you will bring healing to our innermost beings lord lord you will bring healing in the government realm lord you will bring healing because of the cross of jesus and because of the spirit of elijah lord that restores the relationship between fathers hearts are turned to sons and tons sons hearts are turned to the fathers lord we pray that bridging of generations bridging of departments bridging of different individuals lord restoration of father son relationships lord we pray what the enemy had tried over many years in sri lanka lord to destroy relationships lord but we know by the power of the cross by the blood power of the blood of jesus lord we destroy the works of the devil lord in the hearts and minds of people lord and we bring restoration we bring healing we speak the word of healing we bridge people together we bring people together we bring departments together we bring Lord the team together Lord even as a team all the people will work together Lord in bringing life back to Sri Lanka Lord we pray father if anyone is resisting the holy spirit now i pray father god because of calvary because of the blood of jesus because of the forgiveness at the cross because you set prisoners free lord we pray that you will speak to such people lord that if they you have chosen that they join lord the caretaker government lord we pray that the spirit of god will speak to them now spirit of god will bridge the gaps lord the spirit of god will bring them into that position lord we thank you lord we thank you father that stubbornness of heart would be removed lord lord and offenses would be removed oh god we declare lord the spirit of god's movement in sri lanka we declare lord jesus that your gospel will be proclaimed and we declare that your gospel is powerful lord to change lives and to heal our nation to heal the hearts of people and lord to bring salvation upon all generations lord we thank you father we thank you father that you will hear the plea 
of the younger generation lord you will lord turn the hearts of the fathers to them and lord and you will turn their hearts towards the fathers lord we thank you for this bridging that is happening from the throne of god father we thank you father god for the healing and restoration and the power of your gospel lord and thank you that principalities and powers are put to shame by the cross of jesus lord we thank you and if anyone needs the healing touch lord we pray now father just as you heal our hearts heal our minds heal our bodies that your healing presence will tangibly come lord upon every person lord we thank you father we give you the glory we praise you father thank you lord and finally i want to pray for the nation sri lanka i got this word from two kings 42 the widow woman who came desperately to elisha because her sons are to be taken into bondage and she asked elijah to help and i see sri lanka desperately needs a supernatural touch of god so let us pray together 2 kings 42 says so elisha said to her what shall i do for you tell me what do you have in the hand in your home and she said your maid servant has nothing in the house but a jar of oil yes lord we know father that what we have in sri lanka that you will miraculously touch and multiply lord lord we give our crops to you coconut rubber tea lord that cre- creative miracles will happen healing properties would be discovered we pray lord that innovation will happen and lord our branding will happen and lord we pray for our spice industry that we have in sri lanka lord we pray for cinnamon and other spices lord those would be choice spices oh god lord we were able to offer to the temple of god father solomon's temple lord years and years ago father so we pray father that the incense that have gone there lord we pray that you will bless what is in sri lanka lord you will bless it industry lord we pray father that you will bless our youth lord our intellectual youth lord that their resources and talents would be used mightily o oh god we thank you for the garment industry lord that sri lanka has we pray that it will blossom again o oh god we pray that creativity and lord beauty will happen lord thank you lord we pray for every other industry lord we pray for our agriculture we pray for our economy lord just as you touch that jar lord that jar of oil lord even as you touch the neighbors to give jars empty jars that you will touch lord lord by the spirit of god you will touch the nations that are friendly towards sri lanka to extend aid lord to help to sri lanka lord we bring this cry before the throne of god father you the good shepherd we speak to the nations lord to help sri lanka that they will hear in their heart the voice of the good shepherd lord saying help sri lanka help sri lanka help sri lanka lord into their spirits lord they will hear lord and their heart would be melted with compassion lord we pray lord 
because you are on the throne, Father. You will bring a breakthrough into Sri Lanka, Lord. We thank you, Father, that this nation would turn around, Lord. We know, Father, that every prayer prayed to you, you answer, Lord. And there is mighty power of God for us who believe, Lord. The power that resurrected Jesus from the dead and seated him in heavenly places, Lord. We know that same power is being exercised over our nation, Lord. As your children pray, as your children seek your face, as your children cry to the living God, we thank you, Father. You are the prayer answering God. You are the mighty God. You are forever the Lamb on the right hand of God the Father. Lamb on the throne, O God. You open the seals for Sri Lanka, Lord. Lord, we give you the glory. We give you the praise, Lord. Lord, all wealth and riches and honor and glory belongs to you, Lord. You are a great restorer, a great builder, Lord. And we know, Lord, that you will take hold of Sri Lanka, Lord. And you will take her forward, Lord. And we know, Father God, we give you the glory. We give you the praise, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.